tool. There's a slider on the top that's called, let me take a look at uh, it. Oh yeah, we're gonna do, well, yeah, we're gonna do VSync on. So on the left hand side, some people actually say, all right, well I know VSync on is not an acceptable experience. So I'm gonna turn VSync off. So what I'd like everybody to do on the left hand side on the VSync monitor, go ahead and click the button to turn VSync off. Okay, now what's interesting about this is not only do you get the benefit of tearing, but you also still have stutter. If you're looking at the VSync offside, you'll see that little line coming through, that's tearing. Um, but you, you still notice this syncopation, right? There's still something not right with the basic animation. And it's a little bit complicated to explain it, maybe we'll cover it in the one-on-one, but your monitor still has a fixed refresh rate and the content is still a variable rate, so it's obviously going to have some kind of synchronization problem. Now the best part is people think that a higher frame rate makes this look better. So what I'd like to do now, on the left-hand side first, go to the frame time minimum slider and slide it up to slightly underneath the M in min. Okay, now what this does is, I, I told you we have a load that we're adding into the GPU, and what this slider does is it makes that load vary. So now we're going to vary the frame rate between 45 and about 60 frames a second on the, on the VSync side. And what you'll see is that tear line is going to move around. It's actually varying about 500 milliseconds. It's shifting from the max to the min, and it's doing it over and over and over with a period of 500 milliseconds. Now what you're seeing is the animation is less smooth, and the tearing is actually more distracting. On the right-hand side, now I'd like to do the same thing. Slide the minimum frame time slider to the middle underneath the M. And what's super cool right now, you guys should be having a wow moment, at least I am, I'm having a personal epiphany. <laughs> this is amazing, because now you're seeing a variable frame rate in the GPU, and you're actually seeing a variable refresh rate on the monitor. So what happens is the monitor's refresh rate is changing dynamically in sync with the GPU. You can see that frame rate, on the upper right where it's varying between 45 and 60, what's happening is the monitor is refreshing in sync between 45 and 60. Okay, so you, sh you should right now be going, wow. 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 